reverse by now the red corner. He says by being in Katie Chisol, weighted at by time at 153.6 pounds. Fighting out of Northeast LA, representing Matador Training Center, this is Melvin El Sholo. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the black corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing by time at 161.2 pounds. Fighting out of East LA, representing Sit Your Tongue LA. This is Michael Sanchez. This next bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the 155-pound weight division. Melvin Guerrero out of the red corner and Michael Sanchez out of the black corner. Yeah, both these guys are focused. They're dialed in. This looks like it's going to be a barn burner. They both have that, ooh, I'm going to kill you still this about them. <laughs> well, Michael calls himself... Or his teammates call him the hardest working guy at the gym. And this guy has a punch kick combination and calls himself the low kick king. Mm. That's a heavy title to give yourself, man. I got to see this now. Oh, nice. Ooh. Guerrero's coming out swinging a little wild. Sanchez keeping his composure. Oh, oh man. These guys he's, are he's punching right in the pocket. Right in the pocket. Sanchez is finding success with his straights, but uh, Guerra is, when he blitzes, he's landing. Guerra he, measuring with that jab, throwing that cross. Yes. Oh, connecting with that hook. He's having problems when he's throwing his hook. He's eating shots, not his hook, his cross. So he's kind of reserved with it. He's using it to defend that arm. But Guerra digs through the body. Yeah. These guys are testing the cardio early. And it seems like Guerra has the heavier of the punches. And yeah, Guerra is, uh, he's just waiting for him to come forward and he's throwing with, the, with reckless abandon, but his hands are at a place where he can protect himself. I feel like uh, Sanchez is waiting for a big punch kick combination. Nice knee. Oh, very nice. You slowed him down. Nice and low there's kick. There's that low kick that we talked about. Another low kick. Low to kick to the outside. Low kick to the outside. I wish he would set that low kick up with some punches. Nice Superman punch. There oh, you go. Man, finds its mark. Oh, he went double. Oh, nice dunk up underneath. Nice. He has to get that right hand going to keep up with uh, Guerra's uh, barrage of punches. Nice hook off the Superman. And I like Good the combination exchange. of punches of Guerrero. Guerrero just throwing those punches. Yeah. One, two. Hook coming upstairs and downstairs. Nice round for both these gentlemen. All right. As a coach yourself, what would you give to uh, Melvin Guerrero for? Guerrero, I would tell him to slow down. I would measure those punches a little bit more, and I would finish his combinations with kicks. Um, I, it doesn't seem like Sanchez is throwing that rear hand a lot, so I would start attacking that side with like a big rear leg to the body, maybe follow up with hands after. Uh, but he's doing a good job of keeping him at the end of his punches and keeping him guessing the combinations. And for Michael Sanchez out of the black corner. Uh, now, round two, you got to take it. Round two, if you're going to be fighting a slower pace, you have to damage him. Work his body, teeps, hard low kicks. Make those uh, those slower shots count for with power. I like to see Michael get in a little bit closer, maybe work that clinch, you know, because yeah. of the new rule set that we have. You know, it, he's got a couple strong knees in earlier, so maybe that's the thing that he can do to smother that punching power for, of Melvin and Guerrero. I'm noticing a hesitation to clinch with both of them when they're in clinch range. So they'll put their hands up, they'll just, uh, it's kind of a pause, and they'll go back to punching. Nice. Yeah. And they did say in the rules meeting, if your head gets pulled down, it's on yourself, so. Yeah. Nice. Guerra got to keep his hands up if he's going to. Nice. There you go, Sanchez. There we go. Nice slip. He just 
slip too deep on that side to let it rip after. He has to get off those ropes. He's having success from range. See, when he slows down and stops moving, he gets caught. But when he's moving like he is now, that forward motion, he's hard to deal with, see? So he has to keep his back off the ropes and tire uh, Guerra out here. Smart. Get Guerra's back against the ropes. Yes, there make him fight for desperation. That knee. This is why I'm glad the clinch is... Uh, we are actually allowed to clinch now here at Fighters Red because it, it adds so much more to the fight. Now you have to fight out of a bad space. You're between the clinch and a hard place, and this guy is on your bumper. What are you going to do? Clinch him back. And there you go with that knee again. Good job, Michael Sanchez. And this is, sorry, this is where uh, the Muay Thai gyms have success in kickboxing because of their extensive knowledge of how to set up the clinch and get to it. Look, he's got breathing pretty heavy yeah. out of the mouth, but he's still got some punching game in him as he's driving a little ounce of energy inside nice. him. Nice. Look, hey, we're going to go. If he was smart, he'd knee him here. Uh, Guerra's using a lot of energy to punch and not uh, any energy on defense, see? This is when he should be attacking with knees and clinch. You got five seconds of work right there, see? And Sanchez One, pushing the action, two, driving forward. Three, four, five. See, you got to get that action in right there. Look at him. He don't want to be there no more. Nice. Wow. And we saw a good rally on a comeback with Michael Sanchez with nice. those knees, driving forward, pushing Melvin Guerrero back. As a coach again, what would you say to Melvin? Melvin, we need some defense, baby. We got to check. We got to clinch. We got to block with our hands. We got to deflect and counter. We can't just keep fighting, punching, going backwards because it seems like uh, my man Sanchez has figured you out. Once your back's against the ropes, man, it's just punches. Ain't no knees. Ain't no kicks. Clinch. Ain't no kicks. And uh, this is why, guys, even though I know I'm biased, I think all martial artists should take some time and learn the clinching aspects of the art of eight limbs which is Muay Thai because, man, you can really take a guy out of their game with a good clinch. All right. Fighters are clearing this. Their corners are clearing the stage for the third and final round between Melvin Guerrero out of the red corner and Michael Sanchez out of the black corner. How do you see this one going so far, Mr. Oh, I see a one and one right now, but Me Sanchez do really, really well with those combos and knees, and yeah. we'll see if Melvin has that gas in that tank to weather the storm of Michael Sanchez. Sanchez is smart. He's to pull the pressure on here. Yes, nice body work, then back up top. He's tired. He didn't like that inside leg kick. But he's got that volume like the first round. Yeah, he's not he getting thrown up. earlier. Nice overhand inside. See, this is where this is where Sanchez is um, losing himself in the fight. He's his back's against the ropes. He has to push this guy forward. He's still tired. Absolutely. I like to see him go back to that clinch. He found a lot of success with that clinch knee. Combination right earlier in the second round. There and we here go. we go again. There you go. He has to push him back against the ropes. Now, now, right here, 57 seconds left. That last minute, whether it's two minutes, three or five, has to be the one where you go. That's the one the judges pay attention to. Nice, nice, nice combination work. Good stiff jab inside. One, two inside. There Good knee. Go. Nice That's knee. what he needs to get going to seal this round. Look, look, look. For all you guys watching at home, if you plan on competing. Oh, how you call that? See, you know, your fighter is turning, walking away and turning away. So it's in mid-action. So it's not like you're facing forward and you punch them behind the head. Right. So Kobeon is a nicer referee than me because I would have been like, nope, nope, this it. <laughs> I would go to that big body kick right here if I was uh, Sanchez. He wants the legs, but the body's hurt. Oh, and they are rallying to the last 10 yeah, seconds. Guerra's they are smart. throwing everything they got. Where is smart. Bringing the fans to their feet. Nice way to finish the round. And man. they Good threw fight, everything Jimmy. they could of yes. leather in that final 10 seconds. Man, this could be anyone's game. This could be anyone's fight, man. It's going to come down to how the rest saw that last round. And that was a hard one to call because they both had pretty equal big moments there. But... I think uh, the most head snap moments might have went to maybe 
Guerra, but Sanchez was more consistent with the attack. So I'm interested to see how this goes. Well, still to come, we have big boy action at 255 pounds. Jorge Aquino taking on Edgar Barbieri. Them boys big. Them boys are big, so stay tuned with us before we get to our final decision here between Melvin Guerrero and Michael Sanchez. We got two of them thick, juicy boys in here about to throw down for the last slab of ribs. <laughs> On the grill, baby. It's going down. It's like my my 500-pound life coming up, right? 250-pound <laughs> is here. You know, I like this fight. I like the way they strategically listen to the corners, yeah. change the strategy. You know, round one, I saw Guerrero with the volume of punches. Round two, I saw Michael Sanchez going in with those knees, driving them backwards. And then round three, it was anybody's game. We'll yeah. see how the judges see it. I really like both their adjustments. I like the, the, the different fight from uh, Sanchez this time around and Guerrero. Well, as Michael Sanchez says, train hard, stay humble, and don't All quit. Right, five Once again, and we'll send it to Josh Shibata for the official decision. Whoa. After three hard hitting rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for their decision. All three judges scored about 29 28 for your winner by unanimous decision. From the black corner, Michael Sanchez. Nice. A very, very close fight between very the close. two. Michael Sanchez comes out victorious on this one, improves to 4 and 1. While well, Melvin Guerrero drops to one and three, but hey, you know what? It could have been anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. And a great way to open this show on the second bout on Fighters Rep number 17. Let's hear what the, our winner, Michael Sanchez, has to say on this victory. Fighting out of Sityatong, Los Angeles. The cardio king. The I was, hardest working guy at the gym. I would say it was the clinch and those kicks, man. They sealed it for him. He, he played the rule set smart. He used all his weapons. Good job to the guys out there. Sit your tongue. And if you need a classic rock playlist, please hit up Coach Walter right, McCloskey. your winner, Michael Sanchez. Michael, that was a great fight. Now, I know because I was there, there was an issue about struggling, cutting weight. Even to this day, you had to weigh in the last minute. What was going through your mind leading up to this fight? Uh, I was just uh, honestly disappointed in myself. I never uh, do that. Um, and, uh, you know, it doesn't really feel like win right now because of that. Um, you know, uh, like the official back there tells us, uh, we're amateurs, but he treats us like professionals, so we should be professional. Um, you know, it's an uh, off day. Um, I thank my opponent for taking the fight either way. And um, just boy, thank you for everyone that came out to support me, yeah. and it won't happen again. That is a chisel. Well, let's talk about the fight. Man. Like you said, acting like a professional. That looked like a professional fight, though. You came like a house on fire. You had a lot of energy, a lot of power for a guy who had to struggle cutting weight. How did you feel going through the fight? I feel good going through the fight. Um, this is my fifth fight, so I came in with the mindset, uh, no gear. So I've been having that drilled in my head the last couple of weeks. You're fighting without gear. You know, training wheels are off, so today, Coming in with gear, again, uh, kind of got me fired up. Uh, I wanted no gear, uh, my opponent wanted gear, so we did gear. Uh, I want to get the training wheels off, um, I want to get, get this going. So I had to come in with the fire. Sure, sure. So then obviously our next fight, the next time we see Michael Sanchez here in the Lions Den, training wheels will be off, no gear. Yes sir, training wheels will be off. No gear, yes. there you go. I want to give a shout out to my daughter, happy birthday baby, my girlfriend, happy birthday Alex. And thank you for everyone that came out to support me. Thank you to my coaches. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, your winner, Michael Sanchez. Thank you very much, brother.